isn't a wound anymore. It is. The wound is more than a bottomless pit, Jack. It's a hole in reality. Ideas fall into it, as do memories. Why do you think the details of the past are so hard for us to remember? It's not senility, or the ineptitude of scholars, or the boot tramp of war, or anything mundane at all. It's parts of history literally sliding into this impossible void. As it's grown over the years, the wound's increasing gravity has even pulled concepts from our heads before we think of them. Pulled words from pages of now empty books. The Shrouded Realm, Atava, the wellspring of magic, dream, and prophecy. Sister to Avian and the land above. Oh, my head, what is that? It's said that life here requires senses beyond our own. Yours are compensating. Stay strong or it will be painful. After my injuries in the Deep Mere, my brief journey here was excruciating. All that corruption. This place is becoming a landfill. Some believe our realms are imperfect shadows of each other. When one dies, the other follows suit. The Maladar is destroying them both. It wasn't this bad before. The Pentasad made these rules. I will unmake them. We will unmake them. Now that you have left Kirk and suicide cult. What's that supposed to mean? Of course. She never told you that immortals are charged with sacrificing themselves to heal the wound at the end of their tenure. Such a pointless endeavor. That sounds like an amazing amount of bullshit. Walk with me. I'll explain. The immortals. It's a farce. You clean up small piles of corruption here and there, but that only lasts until you're too old to serve. Then she sends you to clean up a field pit with a ritual that will end your life, take your soul. Kirkland's agenda needed orphans like yourself to recruit, use up, and sacrifice to keep the corruption at bay. You're lying. Am I? Ask Thaddeus why he left. It's not a grand order of warrior magna, Jack. It's a sack of commerce. You've been bred for sacrifice in order to grow a better garden. General, inform Grand Magnus Kirken that she may take her leave without delay. Provide her passage to wherever she wishes. It will most likely be Glade Gate. Leave, Varak! You're going to let her go? Just like that? Our vessel has reached its destination, so I have no need of her services anymore. I was only keeping her to influence our small alliance. Did you save her from the Palapon? I did. I realized my revenge would be nothing without her to suffer. You're insane. Very probably. Onward. Okay, what's this supposed to be? In my way. We'll need to work together on this. Sure, this is the right place? The Pentasad has known we were here since we landed. It should show itself. Parley of yours is still wise. Yes, stand down. Hi, I'm Jack. I was hoping we could talk. 
I have this friend. He says you might have taken a liking to me, so maybe you'll hear me out? This isn't working. Sandrak, chill. The Maladar is destroying our world. Uh, worlds. If he's right about you, maybe you can help us. My friend Rook, I mean. He's in a lorry, and, well, we were... Wait, stop! I bring you down, rude creature. With the Thrada Cull, I refuse you. Why did you send me here? What are you trying to say? I've seen this architecture before. In the Underdwell, the glory. They came from the Shrouded Realm. many thousands of years ago.
minds are young and your fears unfounded. Our journey upward is a good thing. wonders with magic that will astonish us. As long as we are there to heal the wounds they make in their innocence.
rest. They will cherish us, the children of the Pentasad. That hasn't aged well. As soon as humans encountered the Alori, we started slaughtering them.
story, their Penasod made them to be a, a safety valve. They were never stealing our magic, they were trying to filter it. The corruption magic creates an avium. The Alori would have prevented it by sending it back here. There would have never been a wound. was that they drained magic, so we killed as many of them as we could as soon as we met them and drove the rest away. Follow me. Together we can finish it. No. Don't fight it at all. Listen, the Penisod showed me how to... Resist its illusions. It will show you anything it needs to survive. Don't be a coward, boy. have teeth, Ted. Damn. Oh, shit! Smells like you just fell out of the Shrouded Realm. Alarming twist. The Pentasod sent me here. Whatever it's selling, I ain't buying. Hold on, Rook. Hear me out. No. That thing can go fuck itself. It tricked us. Told us Avia would be one big ball of paradise. Now get out of here before- Before you eat me. I know. I know. Just stop and listen. Ah! The mouth on you. Somewhere along the way, you forgot I ain't human, Jack. Big cantankerous rook. We go way back. The vast big gulf of hate between us is all gone. He sees me as one of the good ones. Newsflash, pissant. You got, you got good reason to hate me. You hate all of us. 
<coughs> we deserve it. For what we did. That's on us, though. Not the Pentasod. It needs your help. It's for you. Jack, can you hear me? Mind link's on the fritz. This don't seem much better. I'm kinda busy right now. You gotta get to Glavegate, pronto. Going to the Shrouded Realm was only Sandrak's first plan to kill the Pentasod, but he had a backup. If that didn't work, he'd use the Binding Stone to pull the Pentasod into our world. He'd be weaker here. He can do that? Yeah, according to my Scrystones, he is doing it. Right now. Worst part? Kirkin's still all in on it, telling everyone here they need to settle up with Sandrak and join the fight. You've got to stop her, Thaddeus. Tell her I have another way to fix this. Sure. Like she gonna listen to me. I already tried. Try harder. If the Penisot dies, that's it. We're done. It's all done. I'm on my way. I'm bringing the Alori. Mm, lied straight to the man's face, kid. Didn't even blink. Your glory will never know rest. Oh, it showed you that. To what? Tug at my conscience? No. To make sure I'd see that the only person that can save us all is you. Please, come to Glavegate. Ambassador Demily? Hello, Jack. Zandara taking command of the Immortals. Will it have your support at the Northern Court? She was instrumental in getting so many of us from the Palathon here to Glavegate. She protected us from Rashan against all hope. What do you think, Jack? I think Lavinry might see a chance to influence the Immortals in ways they couldn't when Kirkin was around. I won't let them find some loophole in Lucium's treaties with Kalthus. As weakened as this kingdom is, I owe it, and its leader, my life. Thank you, Ambassador. I'm just... Wary of those in power not seeing things clearly. I wonder why. But don't worry. The King is a good man, when I remind him to be. Zendara taking command of the Immortals. She was instrument... I think la Thank you, Ambassador. I'm just... Wary of those in power not seeing things clearly. I wonder why. But don't worry. The King is a good man, when I remind him to be. I have to go, Ambassador. Hello, sir. They don't bite, you know. The Alori? They most certainly do, sir. And if they can smell my bloodline as well as they can your magic, I'm not long for this world. What are you talking about? It's not something I'm proud of, sir, especially in light of recent revelations. My family can trace its lineage all the way back to the Arjaman tribes of the Enduolo. They were famous Alori standard bearers. I promise you, Silas, 
that your ancestors were not a lorry. That's not what I meant, sir. In those days, the Magni would have some of their most honored lightless carry standards and banners made of a lorry. Well, I think you can guess, sir. They thought it would absorb the magic of their enemies in battle. That's one of the worst things I have ever heard. Ever. It was thousands of years ago, sir, but blood travels fine. It's not just the Magni that have to make amends. We Lightless have our great share of it, too. I'd better go. Happy you could finally join us. Your Lori friends were a no-show. They'll be here. I'm done waiting. Air Commanders, prepare to join the Rasharnian assault. Sir, you can't do this. The Pentasod isn't causing the Maladar. It's suffering from it. Sandrak and the Binding Stone You think I don't know all of this? He's insane. He literally believes the Pentasod went berserk because it's jealous. Then why are you joining him? The fonts are gone. The pentasod that made them is broken, unanchored, imploding, and all of Avium is crumbling apart as it lashes out. Nothing else matters. Lucium isn't joining Sandrak's mad crusade, Jack. We're using it so we can cauterize the wound at the source. What a crock of shit. Sorry for crashing in. Magna I got a real blind spot for a lorry. The kid says you need our help. And from what I've heard of your plan, he's right by a mile. And just what help could you possibly give us? Look, lady, I ain't happy to be here either. We've had a bone to pick with your people for, I don't know, a few thousand years? We have a lot to make up for. This is how it's supposed to be. Whatever magic the Magni take from the Ley Lines, the Elori funnel back to where it came from. No corruption, no wound. Yeah, well, what he's showing us squares with my research. This whole mess started once the Elori were banished. You know what you're doing is impossible. I'm right next to you. Pentasod is helping. We're tight. Tell me, Jack. Did you bring any other visions of perfect harmony that you saw in the Shrouded Realm that are actually relevant to the battle at hand? The Alori can heal the wound? We can start over? It won't happen immediately. We've corrupted so much. But it won't happen at all if we do what you're asking. Selko, get him out of here. Zendara, get your airships ready for transport and- No. I did not just hear that. Selko. Relieve the Grand Magnus of command. Bullshit like this is why I live in a cave. Lucium surrendered to Sandrak a month ago. Kalthus is still free. 
That makes me the ranking officer of the Immortals by Ancient Treaty. Look it up. You're making a mistake you can't undo. Take it up with Lavenry. If you help us, all the territories west of the Orenthals are yours. It's not much, but you'll have a sky. We can work out the rest from there. You're in no position to make such an offer. <clears throat> By law, we're a renegade army. She's the queen of Kelthus. Damn well do whatever she wants here. We were gonna help regardless, but sure, we'll take bonus freedom. Signal the commanders that there's been a change of plans. Please, sir. You can still help us. You're heading into disaster, Jack. The world ends because of what you chose today.